The message from business travelers is what led Marriott to its first major change in guest room design in decades. Occasionally they will get a double bedded room so that they can use a second bed to spread out and literally use it as a desk. There's a lot of surface area. But you look at this and it's a problem. Uh, the person is, is having to uh, slunch over or hump over the, uh, the, the computer here. There's no power source, so I can only do this for so long because I'm going to run out of batteries. If anything, I'm using lighting coming down from the surface or lighting coming over from over my shoulder. Um, it's not a good writing area. Everything just doesn't fit. So what we did was we took all those factors into consideration. And we created this product called The Room That Works. And we address all of the various issues that I just mentioned to you. First of all, we have power and electrical sources at desk height here, so you can hook up more than one piece of technology and hook up to a modem. This desk is flexible. It's on casters. The light here is a task light, so you can move it over to the subject. And it's, a, it's a, uh, an architect's type light. We have an adjustable chair here. And then finally, I have enough surface area so that I can spread out. The lodging case goods business is very, very competitive and actually cutthroat. And up to this point in time, uh, these companies have competed on price and price alone. Steelcase presented Marriott not with a tangible product to buy, but with something of an intangible intellectual nature, an idea to buy into. Here comes Steelcase, an organization that has no penetration in the lodging business at all none whatsoever, and they came to us and they said, hey, do you realize that the market around you is changing and it's having an impact on your consumer and you guys can begin to dif differentiate yourselves more if you understand these trends and you do something about it. In addition to researching the business traveler, Steelcase had been researching the lodging industry. They focused on Marriott as a company that might be receptive to the idea of joint development of a new offering. Though Marriott and Steelcase did not have an extensive business history with one another, AT&T was heavily involved with each. Their capabilities meshed. Marriott had the customer intimacy, Steelcase had the design capabilities, and AT&T could offer support in the areas of technology, access, and partnering. Common research began on how the room might look. An important insight was heard from a focus group participant. I don't sleep in my office and I don't work in my bedroom, so don't make me feel that way. The furniture, including the chair, had to look residential but have office functionality. I know that we uh, had tried to pick three different finishes. And A team from the three companies developed the concept together. Other hotel companies already offered their own versions of special rooms for the business traveler, so the goal of the team was to bring their idea to market very quickly. From the, the initial meetings with Marriott, introductory meetings through exploring what the strategic relationship was to actually delivering 250 of these to this hotel uh, was less than a year.